Hello, welcome to my RVM installation tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to install RVM onto your Windows computer and run it on videos. This video will not be covering how to do live background removal because they have not implemented a proper live one for cameras. So you probably have to search it up and dig it up the codes yourself. And yeah, let's get started. So yeah, let's get started. First, you will need Anaconda prompt. If you don't have Anaconda prompt, you can download it here you just have to press this insert it everything default and you'll definitely be fine trust me and after you're done installing anaconda you go to here search and you type in anaconda and you want to open up anaconda prompt anaconda 3 all right so after you have opened your anaconda you have to find a file directory that you want to install the codes at so mine will be under my tutorial folder and it's in the F drive. So you need to switch between drives to get to the right directory. So if you're on like E or if you're on C, you can switch it like this. And you want to go into this folder, CD here. And then you want to go to this page, GitHub page, you want to download the codes. You can usually just download the zip. That's usually the easiest and most convenient way. And you just drag and drop here, extract it. All right, and then you can delete the zip folder. You can rename this to RVM so to make it shorter. Uh, I already have a folder here. Let's delete that one. Uh, rename it RVM. And then you want to go into this folder and you can see all these stuff here. And then you want to go into this file directory. So you got to type in CDRVM. And now you know you're on the under the right file directory. And now we gotta create a virtual environment. It's a environment that you're gonna build your codes in. So you're gonna install all your dependencies here, and then it wouldn't like conflict with your overall um, computer. So it's like a virtual environment. So you only need to create this once, and then later on, if you want to reuse it, you just gotta um, gotta activate this environment so yeah this environment is called rvm matting so we just key in the last one to create and then this one is to activate we can just copy here uh, i'll put all these commands down under the description so it's easier for you to use for now we have two um things that you need to watch out if you're in 30 series you need to use this line of code if you're in 20 series or earlier for nvidia graphics card you need to use this line so it's a slightly different version so i'm going to be using this one so you just do the appropriate one for your gpu if you have amd or other gpus i'm not sure if you can run this so i'm sorry okay so after that step is done you gotta go to here you gotta find requirements underscore inference and then open with the text file you want to delete the, these two lines the, both of the torches and you save it then you can use this line pip install dash r requirements underscore interface dot txt so after it finished installing all the dependency you want to create a folder here called checkpoint and then you want to go back to this github page so you want to scroll down and find this rvm mobile net v3 download this i already have one so you can see you just basically have to drag and drop this make sure its name is correct uh because i already have a copy so it has one if you don't have a copy this should be the correct name and now you can go and create a folder called input and then a folder called output go to input and then drag and drop your video that you want to um, remove the background and now we can now refer to this chunk of command and yeah you can you can read through it uh, it's basically just giving arguments so the main argument you need to change is here input source here so you need to change this to the video name so mine is d1.mp4 so I'm going to change it to d1.mp4, out of high video, out of composition, comp. You can change these name if you want, but I usually just give these as my default names here. So you just got to copy this command and you paste it here and it should start running. If it's not running, just click enter and then yeah, you can see how long it estimates it needs to be. It's one hour, seven minutes for some reason right now. I remember the video is not that long. Yeah, it's 41 seconds. Uh, it's pretty stuck. There you go. You press enter sometimes works to fix the stuck.
all right after that is done you can go to your output folder here here and to check your results so it will be in composition which is a green screen you can see here and it's a foreground prediction so it's basically saying that this whole thing is the foreground and these black weird looking stuff are the backgrounds and an alpha mat which is pretty nice and yeah that's about it uh thank you guys for watching if you guys like what i'm doing you can consider supporting me through patreon or just simply give my main channel a sub uh and yeah i'll see you all in the next one